uh, naming food places. All right. Hey, Bill, you recently asked about places to eat as your tour of the great lower half of this country is about to begin. I've been a long time listener. And I get your no name policy when it comes to telling stories that may be incriminating or name dropping. But you said you didn't want to say the names of the restaurants out of fear that it would ruin the place by creating some type of mom seed and the food will go downhill and it'll get franchised or something. Bill, come on now. You're basically repaying them for their hard work, possibly generations of hard work, by walking out, by walking out and disavowing all knowledge of the place the way the U.S. government handled Vietnam. Jesus! Or more specifically, John Rambo in Rambo 2. On behalf of all these establishments, I'd like to thank you for being... Uh, for helping protect them from increased revenue and supporting a health, healthy sense of pride in a life's work. Also, I'd like to thank you on behalf of people like myself who occasionally travel who would much rather just walk around and play guessing games about where to eat. It's much more fun playing will this suck roulette. We'd, re- we'd much rather trust Yelp reviews that are probably real people and not paid reviewers or family members hyping some shit establishment circa 2011. A real man of the people, this Bill Burr. Get him a key to all the cities. Sci-fi Billy Skywalker. You know what, dude? You had me until you fucking glorified all the cunts on Yelp. Yelp, I swear to God, is like, if you want to see what happens to somebody when they get their own TV show... And how most people's egos go through the fucking roof. All you have to do is just look at look at the common man on Yelp. Oh, everything was good, but I didn't like the sugar packets. These fucking animals. Have you seen the average jerk off that walks down the fucking street, breathing through their mouth, wearing socks and fucking flip flops? Those fucking assholes who obviously have no power in their life. They go on Yelp, and their fucking ego goes off the fucking rails. Here's something. What do you think happened back in the day when people went to town before Yelp? And I don't mean the 1950s. I'm talking about the fucking 1980s, the 1990s. You know what? You struck up a conversation with the locals. You said, hey, I'm in town. I'm having a really good time. I'd like to get some food. You know of a good place? There's nothing a local wants to do more than to point you to the place that is the shit in their town. And you go in there. And you sit down and you have a fucking unbelievable meal. And then you go back and you tell your friends, hey, if you ever go there, you got to go to this spot. The fact that it has to blow up like some fucking boy band and now nobody can get a goddamn seat in there. Give me a fucking break. I stand by what I'm doing. And you know why? I get applause when I say that. I went to a country recently. I said, this place is so fucking beautiful that when I go back to my country, I'm not going to talk about it. So, you know, I'll keep your secret. You know what they all did? They, I got a, almost, I got borderline standing ovation. All right? Everything doesn't need to blow up. All right? I don't need to turn every fucking restaurant into fucking Kim Kardashian's greased up ass on the, yo, it broke the internet. Dumbest fucking thing ever. Broke the internet. And then every fucking douche that's out there taking selfies has to somehow squeeze broke the internet into their fucking conversation. I fucking hate that. I hate internet uh, terminology. I hate the joke structure, you know, the said no one ever, or the, uh, you know, now it's like you have like a picture and you're like, that look on your face when your boss says you don't have to come in Friday. That fucking, you know, insert picture here. So you don't even have to be like a joke writer. So, dude, with all due respect... With your waving of the fucking American flag. All right. Here's the deal. If you're getting the fucking job done. All right. If you're getting the fucking job done and everybody in the local town knows you the shit, you're going to stay in business. You don't need me to fucking hype your thing and then ruin it like the Food Network does. And speaking of which, too, that fucking guy there with his bleach blonde hair and his sunburned face, Guy Fieri, driving all around. I'm telling you. That fucking guy, I, I've gone to some of the places, he's, they hit or miss. They hit or miss. 
That guy's been on the air for like 10 years. He's out of places to go to. Not to mention he never goes to drive-ins. He occasionally goes into diners. He never goes into a dive. They're basically diners. But he needed the magic of three. Um, anyways, so no, I'm not doing that, okay? If you know how to make a fucking brisket, the goddamn word is going to be out. All right? The word's going to get out. You don't need me to do it and uh, ruin, ruin the fucking place. Jesus Christ. Yelp. What kind of a fucking moron goes on to Yelp? And just takes all these fucking people. You have no idea what their fucking axe is to grind. I think that there's like a certain level of cunt that you have to be to even post a review on Yelp. Not to mention, there's so many cunts on Yelp that this restaurant that I've sat in. And I've, I said, hey, I really enjoyed that. That was delicious. And they go, thank you. Can you please go on Yelp and write a good review? Because there's just so many people. No, you know, I really thought the eggs were a little I have a little bit of power now. And I'm going to fucking furrow my brow. Have you noticed that shit? All you need to know about Yelp is just look at actual critics that get paid to be critics. When was the last time you saw them review any fucking movie? Any fucking movie at all? In wire to wire, they said that they enjoyed it. They never do. They always have to be cunty. They always have to pick out something that they didn't fucking like. All right? And then what else? Then you'll see the worst fucking movie ever, and they have quotes going, outrageous, hilarious, a laugh riot. And all that is is critics that want to get paid. So they got to get their name out there. So then they'll fucking lie to you and say that some piece of shit is actually good. So fuck you. Fuck Yelp. And fuck Rambo too. All right? I'm not, I'm not out in those places. All right. There we go. I don't know about fuck Rambo too. 